Hello. Uh, greetings from Oxford. I'm Jenny Lane. I'm an academic orthopaedic surgical trainee here and I'm going to talk to you about the work that we've been doing together as a community to try and generate uh, some evidence uh, from the literature to guide our studies. Next slide please. So uh, before the study of Thon, it became clear that um, some help was needed um, to help design and kind of develop our thoughts about the studies we wanted to do. And especially this was uh, within the estimation uh, studies that we're going to hear about a bit later. Um, the focus uh, was to help through developing a thorough and collaborative literature review approach. And this has been focused around disease modifying anti rheumatic drugs and also antivirals that you'll be hearing about later. Two of our musculoskeletal librarians in Oxford dropped everything to prioritise our research. And uh, my thanks have to go out to Catherine Hartley and Ellie Harris for kicking us off in true Odyssey style. Uh, we searched Embase, PubMed, clinicaltrials.gov and the WHO trial registry in the first instance, in addition to BioArchive and MedArchive um, from their inception up to the date. And actually this was done last week in preparation. And this led to us finding around 5,000 articles for both of these two different groups. We then had a core crack team who started reviewing the searches early at the title level, and they were working together using Rayan as a method of collaboratively uh, working together uh, from a remote way. And for anyone who hasn't used it, not that I'm involved with them in any way, but I think it's been a really exciting, uh, freely available resource that uh, we've been able to use as a group to work together. Uh, this allowed us to have some work to start with when we um, came in to the study of Thon to be able to take everything through to the end, considering the amount of studies that we had found. Uh, during the last four days, we've been focusing on producing data extraction files. So these are Excel sheets where you'll find all the key uh, elements of all the papers that we decided that were appropriate to include for e efficacy, for safety, for mechanism of action. And then we've taken those forward um, and written summaries for both the protocols and the manuscripts for everyone. We've also updated the searches because one of the things that became clear to us is that there's an exponential growth in data and research that's been going on even in the last week since we uh, did our review and we updated that. And we've also been uh, looking daily at the bioarchive, medarchive, um, COVID focused um, uh, page that they have for all of the research that's ongoing in the preprint world. Uh, we also had one of our group, Heine, who's been really, really generous with her time in terms of going through all of the Chinese data and also from finding us clinical guidelines, especially from our Chinese colleagues. So I have to admit that I've never run a group of researchers based over five continents uh, doing two uh, tele uh, teleconferences a day um, to produce a literature review. Um, but I think it's been really exciting. We've had a core group of around 15 of us who've been in the centre um, and we've been a combination of data scientists to clinicians and we've put all of our stuff um, in teams, especially in our in our competency stream, but also they've then moved forward and they're now in the individual study channels. I think the big thanks have to go to everyone. So mostly to Nigel Hughes, who's been leading this group with me, and then also to our core team, to Paula, Patricia, Alan, Yella, Heine, Danielle, Laura, Heber and Asaid, Belay, Ronald, Andrea, Selva, Liliana, Ben and Daniel for all of their efforts. So thank you. Please use all of the stuff that we found and let us know if we can help. <laughs> 